when it's been betwixt the Bridgertons and the... How the hell do people do that? Hey, welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to be applying this wig together while I gatekeep it from you. And I'll explain why. And it should, and, and you should understand that it's fair after the last mishap, okay? So let's go. That felt very sensual. Get off me wig, baby. This is that wig that I've been wearing every day recently. I just picked a different color. I didn't realize they had so many blonde options in this wig. Ouchies. Yeah, I didn't know there was so many blonde options in this wig. I thought it was just the highlight one that I got. So yeah, I discovered that that's not the case. There's many of blondes. So we're gonna do a nice flip. And like I said, I am gatekeeping it until I have enough to be comfortable because of the way y'all did me with the last wig. I'm gonna have to unfortunately gatekeep it and I hope y'all would be nice enough in the comments to not drop it after what happened last time until I'm ready. <laughs> because I don't, I don't, want to gatekeep it as in I don't want anyone else to have it. It's more so I need to make sure I have enough because I know exactly what's going to happen once I drop that link. So let me get my collection up and then I will drop the link. I promise. I pinky promise. I have no intentions of gatekeeping this forever. I just need to get my little bit first. Okay. And then once y'all get your wigs, you're going to have this little tutorial right here. So don't you worry. Ooh, I might like this color more than the one I wear. It's closer to that honey bond blonde vibe I like. I'm grabbing my perimeter basically right now. If you watched my last video on how to style the Jalen wig, you know, I did this so that if you want to do updos or anything, you have that perimeter. So I'm going to go ahead and cut her. I'm supposed to be recording on my phone, stupid girl. You're a stupid girl. You're a really stupid girl. Hopefully that wasn't too short. Oh no, absolutely not too short. Let's start there. We could go a little bit shorter. That's too long, that covers my eyes and I don't like when I can't see. So, going a little shorter. There we go, that's good. And for the people that get mad that I only wear these wigs. I don't know what to tell you. I like them. I really like curly hair and I like how low maintenance they are. I like not having to worry about lace. I like just being able to wake up and put my hair on in five minutes. This takes me five minutes to put on. Five. Five minutes and I'm out the door. A lace wig? No. And you know that. So stop. Stop it. Stop trying to hold me accountable for wearing cheap shit. I like it. It's my vibe. Okay. I can't see my perimeter, but I think this is good. I can't see it properly. Oh, I, I fear this might be too long still. Yeah, this is too long. Because once my wig is glued down or sprayed down, it's going to be too long. Yeah. Okay, wait. Let me grab my... What am I grabbing? I need to grab my... Bobby pins, bobby pins. And I have the blonde bobby pins. <laughs> okay, but we're actually not gonna use them yet. This isn't a sleigh boots. You're too low. Oh! That wasn't a sleigh either. There we go, that's the vibe. Okay, so now you're gonna take your free spray or any spray along this, along these lines, like I have that silver and blue. <laughs> I have that silver and blue spray too. So whatever, you know, makes your little heart melt. My free spray always gets jammed. I almost have to stab at it. Yeah, that's right. Go for your mama. Maybe that's good now. Yeah, there we go. Okay, then I pick her up. What I will say, is if you do your makeup super dewy like me, it's going to just lift after a while. So I take a little bit of rubbing alcohol. I don't like putting rubbing alcohol on my face anymore. Even if it's for my hairline, I don't really care. I just don't really like doing it anymore. And I wipe it off to dry the area. Then I just spray it all around the perimeter. This is so bad for your real hair. You shouldn't be using stuff like this all over your real hair. However, 
I have like no regard for health, my own health. So yeah, yeah, call for your mama. <gasps> oh, and it is gonna drip, mind you. So I always keep a napkin close so that I can catch the drips. Cause if you don't, it's gonna like mess up your makeup. If you don't have on makeup, I guess it doesn't really matter. Okay, I'm gonna feel some dripping. There we go. Then I leave this on and then I just finish getting ready while this is on my head, just so it has as much time possible to dry down. But it normally doesn't need that much time. I will say you should focus the headband toward the actual part of your hair versus like up here. Up here doesn't really need to be flattened. It's more so you want to make sure the hair is sticking to your head so that when the wind blows, it doesn't, it doesn't take your wig with it. I only clip this up for while the hair is up, but we actually can prep the rest of the hair while we wait for that to, what's it called? So what I do is I just try to poof out the wig as best as possible. I just run my fingers through her until we start getting that that natural looking poof. I don't wanna give doll hair, I wanna give, I need you to maybe think for a second if this is my natural hair or not. I want you to look at me and go, I want that. I want, I want you to have to think about it, okay? So once I've done that, I always cut like this part of the wig off. I can't explain why. I think it maybe has something to do with face framing. I'm not gonna pretend I know anything about that. I will say I notice a visible difference after I cut this like little front section and it looks better framed to me. Like the, the fro looks better framed once I've done that. So I think that's like face framing. But again, I'm not gonna pretend I know what I'm talking about. So yeah, this is what that looks like. And then I take these bobby pins, these blonde bobby pins from Goody, super slider proof. And I'm right now, and I use these to pin up here so that you don't see that top track. And then they're blonde, so they're not as visible as using like a black bobby pin per se, because I didn't know about these for a long time and I used to use black, black bobby pins and fully blonde wigs, and I just really hated the look of it. it. It's not invisible, obviously, you still see the bobby pins, but they're better well hidden. They're more well hidden? No, they're better hidden. They're well, they're better, hmm, anyway. They're hidden better, so. No, what is it? I actually don't know what it is. Anyway, so they're better, they're, mm, okay, let's, let's move on. They're hidden. So it looks better than just having the wig. And then, and then I feel like even if I glue this down, it gives me that extra sense of security, knowing that even if the, the free spray lifts for whatever reason, which it rarely does, because free spray is not a joke, I still feel secure underneath my wig. Also, I'm in pajamas. Wait. Do you guys like my pajamas? They're from Victoria's Secret. I was never a matching pajama, pajama set girl. And then all of a sudden, one day I saw this girl on TikTok wearing a matching pajama set. And it was so cute. And I was like, wait, I kind of need those in my life forever. So now I'm like addicted to buying them. Wait, let me show you. There's laundry like on my kitchen counter. So can't open the door. Okay? Looky, guys. Looky. These are like my vibe now. I got these pants. They have cats on them. See, they have cats on them. And then there's a matching short. Sorry, I'm related, no one cares. Anywho. Anywho. Oh, I got this fan on Etsy and she really helps with, once I, once I like set my face with setting spray, I just sit there and fan at it. When I need this to dry a little faster, I just fan at it. She's kind of my best friend. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna do a get ready with me on YouTube too. Maybe I should film that today because I got um, some new clothes and I'm kind of excited to try them out. Unrelated to the video. Anyways, um, I'll be back when when it's been betwixt the Bridgertons and the... How the hell do people do that? Maybe it's the other way? Wait, that was kind of a slay. Ooh. Not really. Um, I'm actually not doing it correct at all. Whatever. I don't care. I'm definitely not going to Google how to do that.
Let's take it off here. Anyway, I'll be back once this is done. They must be waiting for you to move on. Come on. Girl, I'm not with it. I'm way too far gone. I'm not ready. Eyes heavy now. Hard on your sleeve like you've never been loved. And what the hell were we? Tell me we weren't just friends. Come on, this doesn't make much sense. I know that's right. Doesn't make much sense. Alexa, be quiet. I need him. My hair is about done. Was this recording? Hold on, let's just check. Okay, let's take. I had to take. I had to take a gander. Okay, so I think that she's about done. So then I just take off my little elastic band. And yeah, that's literally it. Now my hair's done. And mind you, this is what you do while you're getting dressed. So I would just leave this like this while I was getting dressed. I just didn't do it because I'm gonna film a video of me getting dressed. And then you take this off when you're about to leave the house. Like, be serious, this is so much better. And then it also gets fluffier and starts to look more natural the more you wear it. Because you're gonna start wearing the curls out and that's when these look really good. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe, leave comments, turn on notifications, do all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys next time. I did put a little clip in my hair because it looked like, kind of like that. And I was like, oh, cutesy bootsy. I thought this was so cute. So yeah, I came back to show y'all that I put a clip in my hair.